All right, what is up, everybody? Um, for right now, we're gonna do a little like tutorial, I guess, uh, on how to one stick get up a tree. Um, I've been saddle hunting now for a, a little while and figured that this is hands down the best way to go. So this will be my complete setup, and that's camera arm. Everything's included in here. I wear my saddle out to the tree. That's everything on the saddle. And this is a $30 backpack from um, Walmart. It's also one of the cheapest ways to one stick. Um, this isn't like a necessarily like a how-to, or I guess it kind of is, but um, we don't take any liability as in that everything here is correct or super, super, super safe. So I have my platform, a Predator XL platform strapped to the back and my one stick to the bottom. So this is what it looks like as I'm walking out of the tree and obviously I'll have my bow, which I don't have today, but this is what it looks like when I'm walking out of the tree. When I get there, I reach underneath unclip my stick so that I don't have to take my backpack off and this is how I've set up my Muddy Pro stick. Let me get it unraveled real quick. So now that I've got my stick unraveled and kind of sorted out, what I've done to my stick, this is just the rope for attaching it so ignore that for now. But what I've done to my stick is I've taken one eight um, inch uh, am steel and made a two-step aider this is at 18 inches per step. It just stays even with the muddy stick. So top or bottom to top or top to bottom is 18 inches on the muddy stick. And then I've added a giant twist tie right here. That allows for when you're bending down to pick it up or pull it up. I don't have to bend as much or I can go slightly, um, slightly higher than I would if without this. So this is very important. You can go with a shorter um, twist tie or I don't think they make anything longer. So that's kind of the gear rundown. I have my roll pouch here. My roll pouch holds the rest of my rope that I'm not using. That'll be my rappel rope. And then up here I have the rope that I use actually for my tether for climbing, um, daisy chained, which I will uh, show you how to do later on. But that is basically all you're gonna need to get up the tree. What I've seen a lot of guys do, and it's still uh, really popular, They'll get like this muddy stick, for example, take off this top step and add like a scout, um, a solo scout platform or solo scout top platform. And that would make this whole setup uh, from four pounds with my platform and stick. So that'd be seven, a little over seven pounds total. That'd bring it down to right at about three pounds with the solo, uh, scout solo top platform. So basically from here, you're ready to kind of start climbing. So we'll get over to the tree and go up the tree. All right, so I forgot to mention um, your knee pads. These are very, very helpful, especially if you, um, one, for one stick and getting up the tree, it takes pressure off your knees, but also once you're up there, if you'd like to sit, instead of having to bring in a whole extra pad and tie that around the tree, you just sit down into the tree with your knee pads. So I usually carry them in my backpack and then put them on right at the tree, just because we have longer walks because of uh, public land and they, they get a little slightly annoying, but you can put them on whenever you'd like. So now that I got all my gear situated, I'll show you how to start the one sticking. So obviously you take your stick, make sure your aider is reachable to your foot and put it basically on. I can just hold it with my head sometimes. I usually don't hunt these this big of trees, um, but for the video, don't have many choices of trees. So once you get your stick on, this is why I don't hunt pine trees either. Gotta go up higher with it. Oh, that's gonna be a reach. All right, so then you step into it, you know, go up to your first stick. Make sure to always keep your toes pointed right directly into the tree. If you don't, you'll start doing the whole swing thing and get all wobbly and stuff. So this is the most dangerous part of the whole thing because you won't be tethered in at all. But you'll get up to your first step. 
or your second step, top step. I'm just gonna do this right here for now. You'll take your tether rope. Usually I'll do this before I got on the tree. This is the great part about a daisy chain. You just pull it on out. Maybe you don't. Maybe I unclipped the, oh, I unclipped the wrong side. That makes sense. So what I've done with the end of my tether is I put a carabiner on it, just because climbing up makes it easier to move it up. Um, you don't have to do this. You can just do a regular overhand knot and make a loop at the end of your tether, but that's what I prefer to do. So now, take your tether and you'll put that on. And then you clip your prusik that's on your tether into your bridge, which you want to keep short for this. You want your bridge to be about as short as you can get it, really. Now, I'm clipped in and I'm safe. So I'll move my prusik up. So now I can technically like sit back and that'll bite and then you're sitting here now but so you're safe you can't go anywhere your saddle's got you your tether's got you so when you're ready to make your next move you move your tether up put your tether as high as you can get it move your prusik knot that's holding your saddle and everything onto your that's connected to your bridge as high as you can get it And then from there, what you'll want to do, I'm going to sit back, make sure your tether locks out. And on pine trees, it doesn't like to bite as well as it, as it does on an oak tree. Preferably be on an oak tree. So then you'll swing to the side. And you can wrap your legs around it. Some guys like to do that. Basically, you're just reaching back down and grabbing that twist knot. If you didn't have this, you'd have to reach all the way down to your top step, and that's a lot of time, a long way, a long reach. So I'll just unlock it, unhook it, basically. And now I grab, and my stick is. So I'll push off, and put my stick as high as I can reach it, but just like my knee into the tree. So this is a bigger tree than I would usually climb, so it's hard getting my my rope around it, but oh. there it is. There's just a dog going crazy over there. Uh, gotta love it. So you'll throw your stick up as high as you can get it. Lock that in and kinda cinch it back down. Now you always want to make sure that this is reachable by your foot because now when you swing back over you're gonna step back into this. Grab your top, top of your stick it gives you a lot more um, stability and then toe and you're up. This is also a little bit of a dangerous part because you have slack in your tether. So as you're going up, I like to take my hand and kind of, whoop, see, didn't keep my toe. And then I kind of just take the tether with me as I go up. tether again. And I'm, I'm not going to go any higher just for filming purposes. But now I'm even able to hunt from the top of my stick or... He's about, what, 15 foot up? Yeah, but now I'm good to set up my platform, which I'll just take off my back with my hand my platform I can get extra height with my platform if I wanted to or you can do anything so now that I'm up you have to repel out okay so now when you're up you put all your stuff around the tree you're ready to hunt you do your hunt and then when you're ready to come down you do have to repel out but I'm not going to show you that part because of 
we don't want to, I, I don't do it the uh, safest way. So the repelling is left to you, but here's all of your rope for your repel rope. You'll just, you would unhook this from your, from your roll pouch. Basically, and might have mine figured eight, but it tied. So now I'll just drop down and then you can repel down. And I have a few more things. I'll show you some tips and tricks with my gear that I'll show you when I get back down. But uh, that's how you go up a, up a tree. Butter. Butter, dude. All right, so one of the most important things I forgot to tell you is before you repel out, you take your same like uh, bow hoist or gear hoist or bow rope. Uh, bow rope, anything along those lines, and you attach it to that carabiner of your tether so that you can pull, once you repel out, so you can pull your whole system down. Now you pull your rope to get the whole system down. And on oak trees, it usually goes a lot smoother. Wait, oh, it's not going back. There it goes. There it goes. <laughs> That's how it's supposed to go. <laughs> and then from there, all you have to do is ravel your rope back up. I unclip my pull down rope or gear hoist, however you want to look at it. Eventually I will. And then you just ravel that rope back up into your roll pouch. And you put this back wherever you were storing it. You can attach it to your saddle, put it back in your bag, or uh, whatever you'd like to do. What's up, buddy? Hello, puppy. Hi. Hi. <laughs> Hello, puppy. I don't think he likes this too much. Just checking us out. <laughs> So the reason I chose to go with the one stick method um, and why I like it so much is I go from carrying in 30 plus pounds of gear between, I mean, I had 12 pounds and just sticks alone and then a, a five pound platform, that's 17 pounds, not counting a camera arm, water, the backpack itself, all those things. So I go from having to do all that to carrying in some rope and a stick. And like I said, if you get that top, top uh, platform for the stick, that's quite literally all you have to bring in is right there. So you go from 30 plus pounds to about, I would say five or six. So that, and you can climb any tree you want. It doesn't matter if there's limbs in the way. It doesn't matter really anything. It doesn't matter what type of tree it is. Although I do prefer to stay away from pine trees as you saw, saw me struggling a little bit. But um, yeah, it's definitely um, beneficial. It's lighter. Um, it does take longer, but I like taking my time anyways. I get set up and just uh, just take my time. I get up the tree pretty quickly, but then once I'm up, I just take my time, set all my gear up, and I have a bunch of tips and tricks for um, like backpack, gear holder, all those things along those lines that really minimize my um, my time and just my, my weight. And um, yeah, it's overall, I found to be a lot better and honestly, pretty fun. I like repelling out of the tree, so yeah. I do, however, make all of this stuff and uh, sell it. This wasn't necessarily an ad or a sponsorship for me or anything like that. I just do happen to make all this and sell it. So I do Amstel Aiders, um, daisy chains, backpack straps. I mean, I do it, I do it all. So I'll, I'll, I'll film a few shorts for, uh, for Wyatt and throw them up on his YouTube. If you do uh, find anything interesting like that, or you find anything that you are interested in, you can comment below or contact Wyatt through his social media and um, link in the description. And uh, as always, have a good one, everybody. Thanks for watching.